Now, it's not a common thing to find a man, okay, telling out stories of how they have been heartbroken. So today, we have someone here, and um, he will tell us who he is, and what he's been through, what happened to him recently, and I hope that this probably will serve as, uh, will inspire somebody out there probably going through the same experience, because this is for healing, this space is for healing, this space is for inspiring people, okay, who are going through a difficult time. So, Karibu Sana, um, I know you haven't probably, you don't know, you are not preparing Likwambush, Sana Kakwambia, you, <laughs> you have to share your story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you came to me, you wanted to share something, it was very personal, and I requested you, and I said, if you don't mind, you can come here to this show, you share, because I have so many people probably following, and who probably would want to learn from your own experience, okay? So it takes a lot of courage for you to actually show up. Sure. To give this story. Yeah. So you will tell us your name, mm -hmm. who you are, where you come from, and why you're here today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, my name is Jimmy Mongare. I'm from Mongoni. Yeah. To uh, the, the, the sites of Birong. Yeah. Um, the reason why I'm here, mm, it's from a, a recent heartbreak. And as you had said earlier, it's not, a, it's not really easy for a man to come out clear and say he has been heartbroken. Yeah. But uh, that's why I'm here today. I graduated back 2019. 2019. Yeah. Uh, from IIT, Institute of Advanced Technology. I did communications in business. Ah, communications. Information technology, CBIT. Mm. Yeah. And actually, life has ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, I can't see much of my background. But I come from somewhere. I'm the second born in our family. Oh, you're the second born? Out of the eight. Mm -hmm. And I'm the first born in boys with three boys and five girls. Yeah. Okay. So I'm topping. <laughs> I'm 23 years. You're 23? Yeah. Okay. Turned recently. Yeah. Like two months ago. 23 years old, and you're talking of a heartbreak. Mm. Sometimes it happens. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Wh what is the story? How mm. does it all begin, and how did we get here? I found myself dating for the past two years with someone whom I loved most, someone whom I had seen future with. Yeah. But sometimes I don't know what happens in between. Yeah, probably that's the, re that's the reason why I'm here now. Yeah. So it happened. I've been with someone for two years. And this someone I'm talking of is a guy whom I gave my heart. Is a guy whom I could share with a lot of staffs. By a guy, you mean a lady? Oh, yeah. Just a to lady. clear the confusion. Okay. <laughs> it's a lady whom I used to share with a lot of ideas. Someone whom, at least when I'm so down, I could tell her, today I'm so down. Yeah. I understood her so much. Um, I can't say she pretended to understand me, but in the real sense, she didn't. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can say this lady could just use me, as I as I can say. Yeah. Maybe because I could offer much to her that she couldn't even be able to appreciate. Yeah, so it is recently that around two weeks ago, I can say, uh, I was heartbroken. And um, this is the 
story behind the heartbreak mm, I have been on a side I, I mean on a, a studio a photo studio and I have friends there most of the guys who does photos and editing I introduced this lady to this photo guy and um, it was some week to the birthday of this lady we had done a few things or i can say i had done a few things for appreciation like i wanted to appreciate her for being with me and her birthday so we had spent some few amounts or some cash i can say um just a week before her birthday yeah so you know things that you can give your girl for appreciation i did like any other man can do to her girl or to his girl so i did everything but in return kumbe it was what uh, i hadn't planned for okay maybe what i wasn't expecting what did you buy for clothing shoe um yeah shoe at some good amount and also clothes some some good amount of course yeah sit on gear the exact figure because i think uh ladies will think i have money <laughs> yet uh, i don't have money yeah Mm, so this lady Arienda I don't know what I can say but uh ilifika to a point before even the birthday they they started changing the moves of which you know instincts also can tell it came to a point that I can directly ask her what's the problem with you I see nowadays you know the one that I've been seeing before but the only response that I can I can get from her is I'm okay Jimmy then I could say okay but in the real sense she wasn't okay and personally I could feel it is not okay yeah because to make a for quite some time and then you realize a sudden change it's not it's not normal you have to be sub- suspicious in a way yeah so but i could hear jimmy what plans do you have for us i just table my plans and everything we share we agree let's do this and this and this and actually we do So what happened at the studio? Mm, okay. At the studio, this guy who is a friend of mine, a photographer, used to tell me, Jimmy, leave this guy. It's actually like a month ago, the guy told you, Jimmy, leave this guy. But I could ask him, Mbona ni muache? Mbona ni muache? then i could just say this is a person who my love ama kuna kitu munaendeleza in between you two na sijui but the guy could just tell me jimmy no you know me better i'm a married guy and i won't do anything with the lady what you can do just leave the guy just leave the guy then I told him unless you give me a valid reason why i can just leave this girl dump this girl away then i'll go and think about it but not just leave someone whom you love like that um one of the fine days it was a uh, an evening i went to the studio i usually use the guy's computer for doing some stuff when i'm free or when he's not using the computer 
and that day I had took some photos so I wanted to look at them upon looking at those photos I found the folder with pics and looking clearly or uh, getting into them clearly was the girl um, with a man a different man so nilitoa jasho kimpamba kidogo kidogo but you know a man you can't cry but all you can do is unajiweka pamoja you compose yourself alafu na unatulia but what i did i called the lady nikamwambia want us to meet and talk over something then the lady came um he said the guy is a friend he requested to do pics with her kasema he's okay but i think it's not good to do so and yet you know wherever you took the photos i used the computer they are my friends and they even if i couldn't find the pictures personally maybe sometimes ningeambiwa no no is a friend who requested to do pics from the studio because he was impressed with the pics that we do from the same studio then i said is all right but you know some sometimes there are things that hurts and i couldn't just um, allow this to happen you know when you love someone you can't just go there being things that you know this person won't be happy with and actually that's what happened yeah so i told i told the lady uh i'm not impressed she said she's sorry for that and then i just told her well we can just move on the way we we were and i have no any issue with that as long as there is there is nothing in between you and the man then she said okay that is it mimi nikamwambia all i need is respect we respect each other there is no way i can come with a lady and start doing photos from even the same guys who know that we we've been together for quite some time or we dating yeah then she said she was sorry and i said okay no problem let's move on but then uh, two weeks down the line now on her birthday after mimi could you sacrifice and do a few stuffs buy her some gifts which she personally chose to and she told me i need this and this and this for my birthday and exactly that's what i did i purchased the the stuffs in campe and then we left now after a few days because like two days i was busy with my work and i told her let's meet on saturday we'll see what to do maybe we could have some one two and maybe yeah so it was it was a day to now the birthday yeah so i told her we can go to a restaurant one of the restaurants in town and then we do a few stuffs maybe we can eat call along a few friends maybe one or two we do some drinks and then we call it a, a birthday um upon now when it was i think it was on saturday i usually don't work on saturday i called her in the mid morning and 
I asked her, you know, today is your birthday and we are supposed to meet. At what time can we meet? Then she just responded to me, um, Jimmy, we can't meet. We can't meet today. I'm kind of busy, though I'm home. Then I said, okay. Because she had told me her mom was not feeling well. And on my mind, I thought that maybe still the mom is unwell. Yeah. So I said, let's meet the following day. Yeah. Now, um, back in the studio, when I was, I think on that Saturday morning, the birthday day, back in the studio, when I went there in the morning, the lady had called this photo guy, Kamambia, Kamambia, I'll call you. Then the lady hung up. So the, the guy didn't know what, what was the call all about. I was there personally. Alipokata simu. Then the guy told me, Jimmy, today you're going to photo shoot. Let me go. Then we'll meet later in the evening. Because because who Mr. Menengoja sana and me but they am tutawake. So I have to go. I told him, you just go and I'll also go home. Then we can meet maybe when you come back. So when the guy went, I also went. I did some washing and a few stuff for preparation of the following week. And in the evening, I called the guy. The guy responded to me, Jimmy, let me call you. After around 30 minutes, the guy called me and told me, Jimmy, I want to meet you because I won't talk via phone, but I want us to meet face to face, face to face. Then I remember on that Sunday, I was supposed to go home to do some few stuff. I couldn't manage to be in town. I told him, on Monday after work, we can meet and talk. So on that Monday, after my work, I went to the studio. The guy told me, I have some few stuff I'm doing. Let me finish, then we talk. I gave him around 20 minutes. The guy, Akamaliza, Akanyambia, Jimmy, now let's talk. Uh, what what the guy told me, Akanyambia, Jimmy, you know me, ni mwanaume. And it's so extreme to a point that sitaweza kuficha. Today, let me just tell you what my heart feels. Akanyambia, you know, Jimmy, there is a time ni likuambia, I have the reason. But today, Jimmy, I want to give you a valid reason why you should break up. The guy took his phone, opened some messages. Um, the chats, they had chat with the lady. And then, I think that the, the time the guy moved from the studio to to that place, he had told me, he, they, they started now chatting via WhatsApp. And the lady, I'll come in one year, Nikona Bat, they leo, I love Nita Kwanya Koe, I want you to come in, do photos. Uh, the first thing the guy asked him, is Jimmy there? Come on, be a no. Okay, why? Come on, be a, because Jimmy is your boyfriend. I think he's supposed to be there. Uh, the lady gave a response. Uh, Jimmy is not my boyfriend. That's what the text was reading. Jimmy is not my boyfriend. And then, who is Jimmy to you? The lady said, leave that. So... I read those messages, I was so hurt. I couldn't imagine someone whom I trusted and believed she can do something like that for me. After going through the text, all I did is I just asked the guy, 
can you tell me what happened? And then um, the guy told me when he was at the birthday venue, I can say Nyakoe, the one of the one of the hotels that you have in your choir and the guy told me the time I end up with a bigger picture there was another guy whom they came with the with the lady and some few family members from the lady's side and another few friends and some brothers to the the guy so this guy was shot to a point that hakutaka even kuwa piga picha but they insisted yeah so the guy you know photo photographers act like doctors they can't tell you that this person has has been or the person is positive and negative so they just treat each patient equally yeah so the guy took photos to a point that this guy okay there is another guy the one whom they came with the lady mm, the guy just proposed to the lady and the lady accepted in front of my friend in front of the family members from the both sides mm, i was so hurt that day i couldn't to i couldn't do anything but ask god for strength of which god had my prayer what part did you land that the photos um the guy narrated to me and personally i saw the photos the guy now opened to me like jimmy this is what happened i took the photos and these photos are here so after that having seen an evidence that this lady was proposed to uh any other man hmm? or any other guy who is dating a lady what could you have done if it was you maybe what could you have done hmm? because this is someone whom you trusted for the past two years but this someone cannot even recognize you i remember personally being introduced to her parents some sometime back yeah so which means i don't know alinia kelea wapi ikafika to that point no no that the lady can have courage to tell me jimmy we're not meeting today yet we had plans to this is someone who has been requesting for help i do help this person i can groom like like someone i valued more what would you say you've done for her from time to time the things you know hmm grooming her yeah and um, sometimes could boost even her business in one way or the other any specific moments you did Mm, it's several i think i can't mention that yeah but i have done a lot i can say i've done a lot but i don't know why she couldn't appreciate yeah there's a lot of things that a man can remember and even cry yeah someone who made me lose a lot of cash a lot of money no 200000 it's it's a it's a story for a different day <laughs> mm, yeah so 
it was a business yeah and then we wanted to uplift so i transacted some 200000 you know there is there is a way that someone can come you share ideas and then you agree if we do this and do this, what can we what if we do this you see then you share ideas and come up with the one idea one idea so this 200 cash was to boost the business so like we can't be business partners since we won we can just boost each other yeah so we sent someone money actually she sent someone money after sending someone money then um after this guy receiving the cash he never responded back we tried to follow up with him a friend to the to the to the lady yeah whom they have been with for quite some time i can say mm, the guy is not something kenya the guy is at dubai and then we bought this idea like we can what if we buy some clothes men clothes and let's say the leather jackets they they bought at a cheaper price Two hundred and five thousand. Yeah. So the cash will cater for the clothes and the plane that will transport. Yeah. So how long ago? It's not so long ago. Around six months. Yeah, around six months. Not to be six, around four months, exactly four months. Yeah. So up to date, the guy went silent. I told the lady to follow up, but no response to date. Personally, I tried to follow up with the guy. The guy was just passing behind the bush, just lying, lying, lying all through. Oh, I was transferred from where I was so I couldn't manage yeah so later on I said I'll not follow up with the guy let me just relax maybe one day when he will wish to send the cash it will be all fine and maybe I'll get the cash back or maybe I could get the clothes and we can just sell the way we have planned but here we are now the lady is no longer with me because personally when i called her asking her about that she never responded i was blocked uh, actually i can say my number was blocked and deleted i can't reach her whenever i try to call no response but the only text that i got is Jimmy I'm sorry I was proposed to someone yesterday and it happened I'm really sorry Yeah that was the last message I received from her up to today Yeah So I never bothered and I just said let me relax and got the courage from god maybe she was not meant for me when she sent you that message mm -hmm. i remember i was able to see your status because i have your number i was able to see your status and you had posted a few things mm -hmm. that unsettled i think most of the people who know you maybe you would like to share some of that what did you post after that what was your reaction what did you post to your status Mm, I think it was it was a disruption to my mind and all I can say I won't share because it all came through anger 
it's okay because connected to the story would like to see how do people react to this because mm. i think there was it, it was a lot for you yeah sure it, it was, was a lot for you and it came out in a way probably that would have worried most of us i remember you know calling you trying to reach out and ask what's going on Jimmy, what's going on with you i mean i know yes heartbreaks are there but this is now serious would you like to share perhaps what the so that they are aware what was happening and your kind of reaction and what made you feel you know that day okay some of what you posted if you can remember of course you know it all came from my heart and i can remember mm, there were some nasty messages oh yeah i feel tired with life i felt like i was so low uh i'm not valuable anymore i just felt valueless till i felt like i should just leave this world and be normal yeah of course that was some of the reactions in my so thoughts. you felt like dying exactly you became suicidal yeah in mind uh, then you posted it mm. must have been a lot yeah of course of course i did and what was going on through your mind that time i really don't know i even don't know what triggered me to to do the postings but i came to realize later tomorrow that i had posted some few stuff yeah so i just dropped them and i said let it pass let it go yeah at that time you felt alone probably um absolutely yeah that was the feeling yeah and there's that loneliness you know when you used to someone whom i used to call long calls one hour two hours calls and then now that day no one to call no one to pick your call how could you have felt it's so it was something that was ruthless to me did you share with anyone initially any other friends mm. i didn't family maybe mm, i didn't the only thing that i did um i came to share this story after two three days yeah when now i felt like i'm relieved and released i was at ease how do you feel now i think now i'm okay i've just accepted yeah what would you tell the lady i know she's watching what would you say to her today Mm. Look at that camera and speak to her. The only thing that I can tell the lady from wherever she is, I don't know. I wish her good life. A uh, good life and that zone. I don't think I can accept her back again no matter what. Yeah. And maybe I can say goodbye to to to, to dating. Yeah. maybe god's timing is the best yeah and did you see it coming actually i had started some seeing sensing earlier like a month ago yeah before even it came because you know when you see someone has started changing from the way she used to behave then probably there's something that isn't there's something in between which is not okay yeah and now what are you going to do moving forward mm. don't think that i can say i'll never date but if i find a value woman to maybe be with me i just thank god and move on yeah why do you think this is so serious for you at 23 years old don't you think you're a bit young mm. for a serious relationship I guess at this moment I don't think when I'm young. Okay. So 
What makes you think you're ready for a serious relationship right now? Um, there's some stuff that I do which needs someone whom you can help each other and move together. I can say I have a business. Uh, this business, I can't manage to do it alone. Yeah. You know, sometimes you need someone. Maybe. Sometimes I even overwork till late night. Morning hours. You can see me. If, if you come to my house, you can find me from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. just doing my works. Yeah. And during the day, you can see. So maybe I need someone, maybe when I'm tired, who can be able to help me. Yeah. Which means this someone, someone who is supposed to be close to you, not someone maybe you're going to hire because um, hiring, maybe there is no trust sometimes. But when you see someone here uh, working for you, or maybe you're working together, you can even share ideas and expound on how you can maybe do better than what you're doing. You, you shared with me and told me that you had invested a little bit in her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it got, it, it, it's also gone. So I don't think with that. What did you buy in her name? Mm, no, it's so secretive. <laughs> yeah. So he, he actually he shared with me. I wouldn't really reveal it. It's not really, but he bought, um, he bought something, uh, property. Yeah. With plants in mind. Yeah. With her in mind. Two heads. Two heads. Yeah. What is going <laughs> to happen to that property? Um, I'll take care of it. There's someone special coming for it, hopefully. Well, we wish you the best, Jimmy. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to share with the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. I know it takes a lot of courage, as I said, it's not easy at all. I hope this is going to encourage most of you guys out there who are young, dating, and probably you're facing all these challenges. You are not alone, okay? And I believe uh, God's time is actually the best. Sure. Yeah, I know it looks like it's impossible right now, but you're going to heal. You're going to be totally fine. And you, pro you, you're going to forget this probably, you know, when you find the right person, you won't even remember that you had a heartbreak. Sure. Okay. So thank you so much mm -hmm. and welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.